come today because I've set, well, I've come to these regularly because I run school park at my secondary school because computer science is on the curriculum here. And we have, today we have, it's run every Monday in school and we have 15 members and we're going through different um, tasks each week and we've just done a time lapse video and here. Right, that's all so with it being a Christmas break, I set up the time lapse to actually take pictures of decorating the tree. So what we'll be showing there is the different things you can do with the camera. We plan to put it in uh, the corridor at school and film kids coming and going over probably a week's time and showing what we can do. But the conversation led from recording the camera to looking at the time lapse video to talking about animation. Wallace and Gromit, so some of them, you know, would try animation as well, so it's showing what we can do with code, right, try to animate. We've also, Regan, discovered Sid, which has gone down a treat at our club, because it's really competitive. He's powered by a Raspberry Pi, it's a company, um, this is based in their office, and you can remotely connect to it to have a go on the game. So if you just click to control C, there's nobody in the queue at the minute, but during lunchtime they could be up to like, I mean we, we have about between 10 and 15, it could be up to about 25 people controlling it. So we have to wait in the queue, so we're quite lucky at the minute, there's no one in the queue. And it's just up and down, and left and right keys and a space bar to grab it and drop it. Well, they're all in the lunchtime, so it's in your coffee. Having a bit of a problem with it, like it tonight. But this is obviously looking at the robotic side of the Raspberry Pi as well. Um, for those that might be interested in going down that route. So if anybody wants to have a go, it is lagging a bit, feel free. If you want to take a seat, <laughs> not get any takers tonight. Okay, imagine that you do the brand. So you can put your Twitter name as well, so a lot of people are putting that, so they're actually connecting um, and seeing what other people are interested in. You're finding other people that are using the Raspberry Pi as well. Have another go, get in queue. Want another go? No? I'll have a go. Show my neck to you. See if it'll work this time. Oh, it's gone. So when we've gone through, this is just showing we started back in, um, was it July? Just before the school holidays we started and it's only once a week, 40 minutes which goes really quick. Um, but you've done things like in design com with Raspberry Pi Club. <laughs> So they're integrated in other lessons as well. We looked at the bird conductive panes, I don't know if anybody's looked at that as well, uh, which is the electric panes. So we're connecting LEDs, because we've done the LEDs on the actual uh, Raspberry Pi as well, when we've coded them to make them fly. And it's just highlighting computer science as So do you have a Raspberry Pi? Yeah. What do you use it for? That's why we're here. All right. Yeah. 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 Well, that was the thing because I—I like, I mean, the thing is, we're learning from each other because. I get, you know, the students coming in and telling me what they've learned, and then it's like, right, tell everybody else what you've learned, and I'm learning from them just as much as they're learning from me. Um, 
so like today Jake has managed to remotely connect to his um, Raspberry Pi to send the photographs using some software so it's sharing that information. They don't all own a Raspberry Pi but they get to have a go at the ones, you know, I bring mine in so every lunchtime but they also take turns in setting it up so everybody in the club knows how it all goes together, you know, what goes where, even if they haven't done I always say right who's not had a go, any newcomers today they're, they're the ones that have a go at setting it up. But on the blog, what I decided to do right from the start, because I thought the blog will be a good tool to obviously archive what we're doing and what projects we've done. But when anybody new starts, they can in the club they can have a look at what projects we've done in the past rather than keep repeating it. Because we've only got 40 minutes, we don't want to spend every time we get a new member going over what we've done. Um, but we, you know, obviously forward them to our blog and see the different projects. But it's good on that. That blog also links to our Twitter account, so we have a lot of um, teaching staff and people that are setting up um, computing clubs and Raspberry Pi clubs in school. And I always say, our blog, we've documented every project we've done all the time. So it's a good starting point if you want to have a look, whether it be the camera, the games, you know, things like that. Just have a look at what we're doing. And it's also teaching them how to blog, say, you know, things like that. We save on the internet. Is it working any better? Oh. Feel free if anybody wants to have a go on Sid. Oh, they'll see the URL there. SIDigital.com. So yeah, if you just Google Sid Robot, it's the top link. Is there anything else you want to know? See? How do you work with the price in the school? Do you, do you have the link to your laptops? Um, no, because um, we don't have any HDMI connection with the school. What I do is um, I connect just the video input on a whiteboard. That's the only thing I can connect it to in school, yeah. Yeah. Um, because you can't connect to 20 monitors without the adapters. Let's try putting what's on it. Right. Because then you don't need to be connected to this. You just leave it plugged in. Just leave it plugged in. And you just connect from any computer. See, that's, that's what I've used on my iPad. I've got the VNC connection on my iPad because at home when I was doing a video, but I had to set the Raspberry Pi up with the screen first to start the server. Or is there another way of doing doing that? When you set it up. Because the, the, the problem I've got as well. As long as you know the IP. Well, the problem I've got is connect where we are. There's no wireless in the building in the school. So even though I've got Wi-Fi, it's like tonight. I can't. My Wi-Fi doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi here in, in this building on the Raspberry Pi, which is why we're demoing it on here because a lot of the stuff we've done is using an internet connection. So. So without the Wi-Fi in school, I wouldn't have an internet connection on mine. Yeah, the only thing is, yeah, I know. You're in a high school. I'm in a high school, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's once we're on the network, we won't be able to use Minecraft, because Minecraft is completely banned on the school. So once that's connected and using the network at school, we don't, we don't use it properly. The reason why the